broken heart. Fellow Army reservists testified about the months leading up to Maine's deadliest mass shooting and their firsthand knowledge of the lone suspect's mental health concerns. We gave him the opportunity for treatment and he denied it, refused it, and wouldn't move along with it. And he took it out. You know, some people. Much of the focus was on an incident during a training in New York in mid-July. At one point during the conversation, he said something that all kind of alarmed us. Robert Card II made repeated comments about others talking about him. People just need to mind their own business and stop calling me names. That eventually escalated to higher ups being alerted and state police being brought in. I hope you understand that, that they're, they're concerned enough about your welfare that they called us. Oh, because they're scared, because I'm going to friggin' do something, because I am capable. Kelvin Moat was there when Card said that. Was it your opinion at this time that Sergeant Card's intent to cause such injury was likely? It was. Card was ordered by military officials to go to a hospital for an evaluation. Card remained silent during the entire almost one hour drive, except for breaking down into tears for a short period of time. There were also lots of questions from the commission about an incident when Carr later made threats against a training center in Saco. Multiple members were asked if they thought Card was still a threat even after his hospitalization and who should have been responsible for taking away his guns. I guess to answer your question plainly, I felt that was local law enforcement's responsibility. The commission could call back any of those who testified at a later date. In Augusta, Melmire, CBS 13 News.